you can't hide from boys for very long without them finding out fast you're there. You can come out when you're ready. Nobody's rushing you. You are curious, though, or else you wouldn't stow away to spy on me. Who are you? Are you really looking to find out who I am or why I'm here? Both, actually. That's all right. I'm Dane. My name is Jeanette. I know you're afraid or ashamed, but there's no need to be. If you knew I was there, why did you not get mad at me for being there? I understood your curiosity. I've been the same way. And someone who gets mad is probably ashamed of their own skin. It's a shame, because how can you like anything about somebody else's flesh if you're busy being offended by your own skin? A body is a sacred thing that should be respected and appreciated. That's why there are so many paintings and sculptures of people in the nude. It all made sense. And Jeanette didn't feel ashamed as she had in the beginning. She never once felt offended by anything he said. When she looked down at her watch and realized how late it was, Jeanette wished him a good night. On her way to bed, she thought of all he had said. There were some people who would think that he meant wrong, Jeanette knew, with talking about such things like that. But she could tell from the way Dane talked, he wasn't like that at all. And yet, she felt her face flush when he'd shaken her dry hand with his own, still dripping warm water, leaving a small trail of suds on her own hand. And then again when she thought about it, 